Hey everyone, it's Chad, and today I'm out here by my truck. I have a small problem with it. The tailgate is really heavy, and for me, I can handle it if I don't have my hands loaded. Uh, my kids, not so much. I got two daughters and my wife, and n none of the three of them can really handle the, the weight on this tailgate. And Amazon actually recommended to me a lift gate tool. Let's see. It's called the tailgate assist. It's one of the few times uh, I have to say that I think Amazon recommendation was dead on. I hadn't looked for one of these, but I noticed that a lot of newer trucks have tailgate assist, and I thought that was a really nice feature. But not one I'm willing to pay fifty thousand or sixty thousand or even seventy thousand for a, a new truck for. So let's uh, let's put this together and uh, see how much of a difference it makes. All right, let's take a quick look at why I might want a tailgate assist. This is a really really heavy tailgate, and one of my kids comes up to this. That would probably knock them out. It's definitely something that, if it can be addressed inexpensively, why not? And this is a really inexpensive kit. I think it was like $30. I'll, I'll actually have links in the description below to Amazon where I bought it. Uh, this is not a sponsored video. I haven't tried it. I don't even know if it's gonna work, but I am gonna try it. The tools required, you got a T50 Torx, which comes with the kit an M6 Allen wrench or six millimeter, a 16 millimeter wrench. I don't have a 16 millimeter, but five eighths should do the job. 13 millimeter wrench, a tape measure, a 16 millimeter deep well socket. And if you're doing the super duty, cause this kit also works on the F-150. Uh, if you're doing the super duty, an eight millimeter and an 11 millimeter wrench. The kit comes with the thread lock tube, the shock, the ball mount plate, the blind nut tool, and the blind nut tool insert. I think it's all together right here as one piece. Uh, the Torx wrench, as I mentioned earlier, uh, the mylar, and the ball mount. All right, so the first thing you want to do is make sure that This is three quarters of an inch away from here. So just adjust this out so you get it dead on to three. All right, so this is on the driver's side. The nut cert is gonna be inserted into this hole. Then you're gonna take your 13 millimeter wrench and your six millimeter and you're going to hold this steady you don't want to turn it and then this is going to be turned clockwise and i'm going to need to do that until it gets a little bit tight once it starts there we go All right, after you're sure that that's tight, and there's two ways to do it. I counted every quarter turn. Uh, you can also make a mark here and count the number of times that mark comes around. Now, as you can see, there's a nut cert in there, it's threaded. And this is, the, this is what they refer to as the nut cert tool. Like I said, it comes complete as one part but you don't need that after that. All right, next you wanna apply some thread locker to the ball joint. That should be plenty. And then just screw it in by hand. And snug it up. Nice and tight. 
All right, next you want to remove the cable. Replace this bolt with the bracket in place. All right, next you're going to remove the two eight millimeter bolts that hold in the tail light. All right. All right, next you're going to remove these two nuts that hold the rubber block on. Then just remove the rubber block. Alright, we're almost done. They provide you with a mylar sheet, so you're going to need some scissors, which they don't mention earlier. And I'm just going to take a little bit of Windex and clean this area right here. Okay, next you're going to install the larger end on here. I think this snaps on and you can reinstall the cable. Alright, that's it. It's installed. And it closes. Yay. Alright, here we go. First try. It doesn't really make it any easier to lift. It's not a lift assist, but it, it does definitely slow down that slamming that occurred previously. Yeah, definitely worth the 30 bucks. I, I think it's $30. Again, I'll put a link down in the description. If you have any questions about the install, anything that I didn't show well enough uh, in the video, please let me know. And thanks for watching. If you like this kind of content, I'll be posting more of it, so please subscribe and have a great day.